What's up YouTube? It's The Real Code Burnout. Thanks for joining me back on my channel. You can see here I got my brand new barrel from Wyndham Weaponry and it is chambered in 5.56 so I'm going to do my headspace gauge check, my headspace check on it using my headspace gauges. Highly recommend you doing this because number one it's a safety thing if you're building a new one. There is an expectation out there if you buy a, a fully built upper that it's gonna be fine it's already been checked uh, if you're building one yourself from scratch I highly recommend this and uh, up until the barrel I got previous to this I had never had one fail so my previous barrel that I sent back and got this one as a replacement failed its no-go check I'll talk more about that at the end of the vid but let's get down to some brass tacks what is a headspace check every firearm needs a headspace check the headspace is basically the bore, the chamber bore, in your barrel. It's going to make sure that your cartridge either fits it, you know, fits in there right. So basically, it's like the Goldilocks thing. It needs to be in there just right, not too short, not too long type of thing. All right, the go gauge for the 5.56 round in an AR-15 barrel. It's going to measure 1.464 inches. The no go gauge is 1.470. That's only six thousandths of an inch difference, okay? So there's your tolerances right there. There is a third gauge out there. It's called the field gauge. It is 1.473. And uh, I have read that a SAMI spec is 1.474, all right? Either way, it gives it a little more, <laughs> I guess you could have it a little bit looser, all right? For civilian use, especially with a brand new barrel, you want this to be accurate as possible. And uh, we feed all types of ammo through this, through ours. Uh, you want to go with the no-go. Okay. So the go gauge, 1.464. I have my go gauge here. Real easy to check these, uh, especially when the barrel's off. You can do it after it's assembled as well. But, and I'll, I'll roll in a little bit of footage of that at the end. Basically, this is going to make sure that the bullet will, or your cartridge will sit into the barrel chamber properly. So I'm, I'm going to take my bolt from my AR, and I've already disassembled it. I've taken the uh, ejector out of there, and I went ahead and took the extractor out of there as well. Makes it a little easier to check. This should close this, so when I put it in, it should spin freely, and it does. No issues there. So that means the chamber is bored deep enough. Now the no-go. You can see it's a little bit longer. So this is going to make sure that and that the chamber is not bored too deep. The bolt should not close on it. And it doesn't. See that? Okay. I'm very happy with this check on this. Now, those of you that have seen my previous vids when I was trying to build this, my previous barrel actually closed on the no-go. So that means it was beyond this tolerance. I don't have a field space gauge. Those are not as common. And frankly, if I'm buying a brand new barrel, I expect it to pass the no-go right out the gate. If it was worn after it wears and stuff, you know, maybe something like that. For the military, they're, they have a similar gauge to the field gauge with that spec and that would be their maximum tolerance okay and then they'll start replacing they'll try they may try a different bolt uh, according to their tech data because bolts wear as well or and they'll eventually replace the barrel okay mine's brand new parts so I sent my old barrel back that failed it with my brand new bolt and I did check other bolt bolts just to be sure they all failed on that first barrel and uh, Wyndham replaced it for me so I'll roll in the footage of it failing so you can see what that looks like no-go gauge now this one here should prevent it from locking up from being able to spin but as you can see it fails that check so Start with the go gauge, and basically, you're going to feed it into the barrel. 
this in frame here. Slip your BCG back in. And as I am pushing forward on it with just my finger pressure, it should lock into place. Okay, and there it is locked in. And you see we have a nice, you know, flush area back here with the back of the receiver. So that gauge is good. That's what you want to do there. And your gauge should come out pretty easy like that. Now the no-go gauge, I'm going to do the same thing, but it should not lock into battery. Thus the name no-go. Put it in. Same amount of finger pressure. Uh-oh. What just happened there? It freaking locked into battery. That's right. So for those of you out there that say that no, you don't need to check your headspace, that your gauges, you know, you're wasting money on this, all the modern AR barrels or, you know, tolerances are so good with your bolt, you never have to do this. Wrong. Mine just failed. All right, so there, there's an example of one failing. And uh, like I said, send it back. Now, I'm not here to bash Wyndham weaponry. <clears throat> I've never had this problem before. They took care of it for me. It was a little bit of a lengthy process. You know, it took them a couple weeks just to look at it, and I had to keep, you know, ping them a couple times. Uh, the only disappointment is in the email, the, the uh, gentleman said that the barrel was fine, even though it closed on the 470 with my bolt. Of course, he said it was tight. You saw from the video, loose as a goose. Easy. Um, he didn't say if he checked it with a, with a 1.473 gauge or not. He did say he was going to put that barrel back in stock. So someone else is going to wind up with that barrel. I don't like that. That's their company. So if you're getting anything from Wyndham Weaponry, check your headspace from them. You may get the barrel I sent back. Okay. <clears throat> Am I saying it's not safe to use? I don't know. He didn't say if he checked it with that. Maybe he did. Of course, he also tried to blame the bolt in a roundabout way. This is a brand new bolt. I tried three different bolts, you know, on that barrel with the same effect or same result. So that was the email, and even on the packing list, you can see here, my customer copy, let's see what they wrote right there, barrel okay, but exchanged it for one that will not close on a 1.470 no-go, with customer's bolt, no charge, okay, so they took care of my problem, <laughs> Brand new bolt. And it's not a cheap one either. I think I got this one from Brownells. Like I said, I tried it with three different ones. So there's a story on that. I'm not trying to bash Wyndham. They took care of me. I'm just saying with any company, check. Because <clears throat> they may be going with a looser tolerance than you're expecting to have. And uh, I don't know. I'm building something from scratch. I expect it to be in a good condition. If it's going to get worn out, I'm going to do the wearing it out. You know what I mean? There it is. Now I can go ahead and finish up my build and uh, move on from there. Thanks for watching. Boom.